Good morning, happy weekend. It's currently Sunday. It is the day of the Euro finals. Is that what it's called? Euro finals? The final of the Euros. The final of the Euros. <laughs> fake football fan and later on Alfie and I are going over to his parents for a barbecue and to watch the football but for now I've just got ready for the day and I thought it would be really nice since Alfie's mum is providing like the barbecue food maybe I could make a cake it's been a while since I've done any baking and I just woke up this morning and I really felt like it so I'm gonna do a classic Victoria sponge because of the red and the white um, and also I just feel like Wimbledon summer strawberries and cream oh I'm Wimbledon sorry final guys today. is it the Wimbledon final as well yeah today why are all the finals on the same day yeah it's just landed that way is it on at the same time I don't think so. Oh. Well then it's the perfect cake to make. Um, we're going to have strawberries. Probably buttercream instead of fresh cream because I just feel like it's quite warm and I don't know how long the fresh cream will last for on the cake. But Alfie and I are just about to head out. Oh Nala. <laughs> Alfie and I are just about to head out and get some ingredients because I have most things but I don't have everything. So we're going to go and grab those bits and where we're going also has a tango ice blast machine so i think maybe i might have to get one of those as well is it coming home is football coming home she's like who's coming home <laughs> who's coming someone coming <laughs> i really love my brows today look at those that's the Anastasia Brow Freeze Gel that I mentioned in my last vlog. It's so good. I just, I love it. Brows aside, let's go. Let's go and get some ingredients. Look at her, she's got one leg this side and one leg that side. <laughs> she's trapped me. <laughs> Yeah, it always like, also the thing that you've got to remember is that the lid isn't flat, so you can always fit more than what you're thinking. So if you put that on. No, nah, but I don't want it to leak. No, but then what so you need to do, is that on properly? Yeah. I now fill it up through that hole. No, but I'm scared it will leak up the sides there, look. Nah, it's locked yeah, in now. Nah, nah. No, but that was from you pushing it on. It's all good. I can't get through that hole. Yeah. Okay. Done. <laughs> Why are these just so good when you're hot and pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> they remind me so much of going to the cinema, but we haven't been to the cinema yet. We literally haven't been in years. Mm -mm. Like probably two years. The last thing we watched in the cinema was Parasite. Oh, so when did that come out? So good. That was a very, very good film. That was actually one of my favourite films. Oh, no, we of have. We watched it again since. 2019. Was that 2019 or was it 20? I think it might have been early 2020, like January or February time. The ice blast is the drink. You want some? That hits the spot exactly how you want it to hit whenever you drink it. Like, yeah. it's like going to McDonald's. You know what you're going to get. And it's the same every, like a chicken nugget. I can taste it now. I can <laughs> yeah. already taste this now and I haven't even had a sip yet. Exactly the same. That's it. Right, I'm using a classic Mary Berry recipe for this Victoria sponge. Might have to open the door, I'm hot already. Um, and Mary usually likes an, an all-in-one method. Right, so we've got the cake tins. What are these? Eight inch sandwich tins. Let's put a little bit of butter around that. I actually bought stalk today to do this because I thought we don't have a lot of time so waiting for a big old slab of butter to get to room temperature will probably take too long. So I've gone for some, some stalk. And it did say for the fluffiest cake and also baking tip, 
these just make your life so much easier you can get them in all different shapes and sizes it's baking sheets already cut no one's got time to be cutting their baking sheets into circles okay so they're ready to go first thing then preheat the oven to 160 degrees fan done use piece of baking paper to rub a little bit break the eggs into a large mixing bowl and add the sugar flour baking powder and butter mixed together okay that is literally the most simple recipe in the world one two so it's four eggs three four how did i just get shell in there then add sugar flour baking powder let me just wash my hands 225 grams of caster sugar there we go um then 225 grams of self-raising flour perfect god i forgot how easy it is to make a victoria sponge <laughs> two teaspoons of baking powder one two and then the butter 225 grams of butter it's like the classic three 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 keep all the ingredients the same there we go okay ingredients are in mix together until well combined with an electric hand mixer you can also use a wooden spoon oh wow that would take me a while Divide the mixture evenly, pop in the oven. I'm gonna pop these in the oven now for 20 minutes. Right, middle shelf. Now I will be back in 20 minutes to check on those. While the cakes are doing their thing in the oven, I've got something super exciting that I wanted to share with you. I'm back in my little bathroom spot with the nice lighting <laughs> there is also a reason why i'm in the bathroom not that it makes any difference but that they are in here it is function of beauty related as you guys know i work with function of beauty i love them i love how many of you guys love them and always use the code that i have you might remember last year i did a collaboration with them so we worked together on some stickers and it came with two free scrunchies ah she's just kicked me so hard and it was just really exciting to get to work with them on something because I really love them as a brand and you guys know how much I love and adore and always recommend their shampoo and conditioner and this year I've also got to work with them on a collaboration so if you missed out on last year or you've missed out on any recent discount codes then I think you're gonna love this as always big thank you to function of beauty for working with me on this it's been so much fun i'm really excited to share with you what this looks like um, compared to last time but last time so many of you ordered the collaboration box and loved it and so many of you are still using function of beauty now and still using your scrunchies and the response was really lovely and positive so hopefully you will also like this one just as much so as always with function of beauty you can go on over to their site and you can fully customize what it is that you are looking for in your shampoo and conditioner so what kind of hair type you have what you'd like to achieve from the products and what you want that to do to your hair so you simply go on over to their website it takes two minutes you fill in the quiz um, and you can do that also with this collaboration as well it's fully still fully customizable to your hair you can pick the color the fragrance you can pick the strength of the fragrance um, and it's all the same kind of premise but it's just got some cool features in it that I think you're gonna really like. In the box, you will receive, obviously, your shampoo and conditioner. The bottles are fully recyclable. The formulations are vegan and cruelty free and there are no sulfates or parabens. We've customized the bottles this time. So ignore the stickers for now, I'm gonna talk about those in a second. But the actual bottles have 
tiny little flowers all over them and they've never done this before so i really loved that little feature i just thought it was really cute so whether you like to add the stickers that come with these or not the actual bottles have the little white flowers all over them as always the bottles will arrive with your name on them particularly useful if you're in a house share and there's a few of you that use function of beauty <laughs> so that you don't all get your hair goals mixed up um got your name on those will also come with the list of what your hair goals are just to re-remind you because i know a lot of you always ask me what i select when i choose my hair profile so my profile is wavy medium and normal hair and my goals are anti-frizz oil control replenish hair shine and thermal protection those are my five goals that i always select i don't really ever deviate from that um, and the fragrance that I always tend to go for, my ultimate top tier fragrance, although I did really like the mango one that they had in spring, um, is the Nude Peach. I wanted some kind of 70s vibe stickers. So we've got some cute glasses, little smiley face, some rainbows, lots of flowers, and the colour palette is also really lovely. A little record, little lava lamp, good vibes only um so yeah i love the stickers also and it's just so much fun being able to have complete control over like what you want the stickers to look like in your box you will also receive a little note from me and then my favorite thing which i think is what is gonna tip you over the edge and go for the box whether you already subscribe to Function of Beauty or you've never tried it before, how cool is this comb? So we work together on this comb um, and I swear by these. Every time I do my hair, I use a wide toothed comb like this. You may have noticed whenever I'm doing like a hair tutorial or um, I'm curling my hair and anything, I take a wide tooth comb and I just brush through those curls just to make them a little bit more wavy. And so to be able to have my own one of these is very, very exciting. Also amazing for brushing through conditioner in the shower or if you're gonna use a hair mask. Function of Beauty also do incredible hair masks just as an FYI. But I personally love it just for brushing through just brushing through curls, keeping those curls nice and wavy. I picked the colours, the colour combo. So I hope you like it. Uh, but yeah, I just feel like everyone needs one of these combs in their hair care routine, whether that's when your hair is wet or when your hair is dry and styled. There we go. That is what you will get in the collaboration box. And that is available in the full size 16 ounce bottles. Another reason why I love Trust and only ever use Function of Beauty is that they are dermatologist tested. So you know that they're all good for your scalp. I've never had any irritation and they also abide by all EU ingredients list rules as well. If you want to get hold of the limited edition bottles and collaboration box, then I will leave a link down below. You can swipe up, go and check it out. Whether you are due some new bottles and you already use it or whether you have never tried it before and want to give it a go, um, yeah, as I said, link is down below. Literally, as I just finished that, I can hear the oven beeping. That, talk about good timing. Right, oh, just so you guys know as well, I literally washed my hair with it this morning. As I always do, but I feel like usually the proof is in the pudding and you can see, well, hopefully you think my hair is in good condition. <laughs> I don't like to blow my own trumpet, but I do feel like it is in good condition considering I get it bleached and balayaged and curl it and use heat on it. Um, but yeah really happy and excited that I get to be working with them on another collaboration. It doesn't look done yet. It looks a little like bit longer. Wobbly. Why has it done that? I didn't slam the air bubbles out. That's all good, still, still looks great. Yeah. Mary Berry's never failed me before, so. Also, you're gonna put stuff on the top, like icing and things, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. I just love a classic 
Vicky Sponge. A Vicky Sponge is the dream cake. Isn't it? Let's see what Nanda does if I give her this much dinner. Oh! <laughs> you ready for your dinner? <laughs> Bloody handstand! <laughs> wow, is that all gone already? So good. <laughs> she's licking it. Let me get you the rest. Do you have them? <laughs> she, you want them? Oh my god! None of the balls gone. <laughs> he was just teasing you. Here you go. <laughs> Bless her. So oh, good dinner. girl. Look you how good. Oh, she just did an angry snot. There you go. We're gonna do a little, a little cake test. Yeah, they're done. They're very fluffy. Whoa there. There we go. They look a bit bobbly on the top, not gonna lie. But they're very spongy. So I'm sure they'll taste delish. Because we have to leave to go to Alfie's mum and dad's like now, <laughs> I'm gonna take the cakes with me and then I'm gonna decorate it and make up the cakes when it's dessert time because then it'll give them time to cool down and I can make the buttercream and if I just take everything with me it's just a bit easier so I'm gonna do that also look at this I don't know if you saw my other vlog but I picked like all the sweet peas off and it's true when they say with sweet peas the more you pick them the more they grow this is in this is what three days and there's so many more now so I need to pick some of these um, I mean, I won't have time now. Look at this colour. So pretty. Um, but yeah, I need to pick some of these and then they just keep on, keep on going. And having a sponge as well. Oh, you're trying to get a little pick a No, 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 no. As if you thought you could just put that on the floor. I just don't think they would do that. favourite. Well, this is stressful. <laughs> Going to penalties. To penalty. What's gonna happen, guys? We're gonna win. 
process, we've got it. Although statistically, we've lost three out of our four last penalties. Right, six, three out of three out four, <laughs> and they've won three out of six. Okay. But we've got it. <laughs> we've got it. <laughs> Come on. I have to say, this is very stressful to watch. <laughs> No, the dogs don't have a clue. They're just chilling. Right. Imagine being the keeper right now. Oh, I would hate it. The pressure. This is what they practice over and over and over and over. Yeah, but. Um. It's amazing for Italy. You said about the goalkeeper earlier on, I think he's been involved in well, the shootout. Well, didn't five, win yeah. that. Five, I was two, hiding two, behind two, my... To take on in the future. And it's so, so They cool. played really yeah, well. Not that I know too much about to football, obviously. Though, I mean, but... Pointing the finger of blame at them. It's sad times. Any Good morning. It's the next day. Alfie and I are about to move a lot of the stuff out of the nursery we've bought like really random things we've got some toys we've got like cot bed sheets nappy cream a lot of like things that have been arriving over the last couple of weeks that we've basically just kind of like dumped in this room but obviously this room's not been decorated yet so that is happening this week i think which is so exciting we're about to start emptying it i don't know how much of this i'm going to film here because i am actually going to be vlogging this as like a separate kind of nursery video so i think i'm gonna film a little bit over there but yeah we're about to tackle this and then actually later on in like half an hour i am filming something with joe which is very exciting that i cannot talk about yet but it's really cool so alfie will probably have to carry on without me emptying the room getting it ready for the is, decorators i think this is going to mostly be you telling me what to do and me doing it anyway i mean you can't lift much can you <laughs> i really can't so i mean i'm already me, sat on the floor you, you instruct me maybe you sit there point and tell me where to move stuff and i do <laughs> okay i've never realized that these windows don't open yeah that one doesn't there's only window. one in there's only one in this room yeah i thought that opened yeah that's so weird. The top one does, which is quite nice. This really is the perfect room for a baby. It's so, so nice in the lovely. evening, like the light all comes in and... Big cupboard space, nice shelving over there. Yeah. So here's a little, you know, a little before here, just briefly for this video, but it's a massive mess. Like I'm not even gonna show you, like the floor is just, atrocious but gonna get emptying for the decorator okay making good progress in the room Alfie is not me I cannot take credit for it at all um, and now Joe has arrived so I'm gonna go and do this cool thing we're doing and then I will report back it's a little bit later on me and Joe have finished on our cool thing that we were doing and I don't really feel like I have much to update you on um, it's just been a very busy day, generally, but Alfie has emptied the room. So I'm, I'm going to give you a little sneak peek now. But as I said, I am going to do like a whole video on just the nursery. But this is it totally empty. Just so you get an idea. It feels weird. It feels like when we've moved when we moved in. <laughs> it's one of those evenings where it's actually quite nice. Like it's raining. I mean, it's sad that it's summer and it's raining. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. But it's like warm and like the birds are all tweeting and it's still light but the rain's falling down and it's very cozy so Alfie and I have come up to bed like really early it's eight o'clock <laughs> we have been watching um some kind of like antenatal um is that the best way of describing it antenatal um online course um that Marie Louise who is the modern midwife um kindly sent me 
um, she has a course that you can take um, which has like different sections in it that you can just watch videos so there's it's the pregnancy birth and postnatal bundle that Alfie and I are currently making our way through so we are going to sit up here now and we're going to watch what's the next one let me see the next one is being overdue <laughs> and then welcoming your baby home and then we move on to the birth episodes. I'm absolutely loving it so far. Um, I really love that Alfie and I can sit down together and we've been like putting time into both of our diaries, especially if we've both had like a busy day or a busy week. We always just try and make sure that we at least sit down and watch one of them because there's loads and loads of videos. Um, but I'm absolutely loving them. If you are pregnant and you're watching this or um, you've not done any form of kind of like antenatal classes or you just don't know where to go to kind of get this research or maybe it's just that you prefer to do it at home or in your own environment or at your own pace then I would highly highly recommend you check out her course because um, I I feel like I learn better when I'm in an environment that's like cozy at home I fully I can fully give it my attention and it definitely like goes in better and she she also has a book which is one of the books that I've already read I think I already mentioned it in my vlogs before but yeah loving it so hopefully we'll get through this before I actually have the baby <laughs> I think we will um, but yeah that's what we're gonna do this evening so I will get back to you tomorrow it's the next day and this morning was really lovely because Maddie popped over with Gigi and it was so nice to see them and the next time we see them I think we'll have the baby which is just wild um, but now Alfie and I have come into town we're gonna head into the office to make some so you think we're gonna have the baby no she's definitely gonna be no, but as in I, I on some random occasion I might see Maddie before but we no, think but I probably away. won't yeah I know but she is she's okay. you know she's back at like end of August so you never know we just took a but... picture of Zoe and Maddie Maddie holding Gigi and Zoe holding her bump and then we're going to recreate the picture Alfie and I are now at the office and we're going to make some lighting decisions so I thought it would be nice to bring the camera along and give you a little update because it's so nearly there do you know what we should have done what brought the chairs oh we should have we can take some stuff back that we need to set back. The office is like 97% done. Yeah. And I know a lot of you might be watching this thinking, this office has taken a really long time. Yes. We're thinking the same. We're thinking the same, but COVID is to blame for that. <laughs> I really need a wee. Is Let's the go. toilet all good in there? Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> so, little update. This is the office currently. We're still waiting on some desks. Um, but it's getting there and the toilet Ooh. let's move you oh, I've never seen that before I was just about to say watch out you might dink your head on it <laughs> yeah we need to change, change the height of that one a little bit I've never even seen that I put it on there today oh okay I was going to say <laughs> home and Alfie and I have just had a sleep new like a baby sleep consultation session with Anna from Sleeping Bunnies and it was so interesting and we learnt so much well I did for sure and you oh, definitely did even more than you yeah um so absolutely love that so if that's something that you are I don't know, thinking about or you've just had a baby or you've got a three month old or you have a baby that's struggling with sleep or you're a first time new parent and you just want to know a little bit more about um, babies and sleep and things like that then definitely go on over to Instagram, check out Sleeping Bunnies um, because yeah. She's really lovely as well. She's so lovely and it was so good um, and now Alfie and I are just, Alfie and I are just outside getting a bit of fresh air but also checking in to oh my god wow 
we've had our outside basement which I don't know if we've ever really talked about the fact that there is an outside basement because we just never used it in fact when we moved in three four years ago now um okay we won't walk in there then um it was one of those things that we just left we didn't touch it it had loads of the old um owners kind of stuff in it and like logs and we just threw a load of paint cans in it um and we thought as one of the things that we really wanted to do before baby arrived was to sort out the outside basement purely because we want to really utilize all the space we have and to be able to put like bikes and a lot of things that we have currently in our inside basement into our outside basement to allow us to have more space inside for things like prams and baby things that we might want to store away so this is almost done oh it's been what's called is that what they do to the inside of a swimming pool to make it fully waterproof? So this Wowza. is guaranteed no water leakage for 15 years. The floor is about to get like poured with latex as well. Look, go and have a little sit on there. I'll try and help you like balance. I'm Obviously just scared that Nala's gonna come down. Wow. Sit on the edge of there. Don't slip. What? You stay there. <laughs> you wait. Wow. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. So this before was like completely full to the brim of just old bricks and... Rubbish. Rubbish. Half ours and half the previous owners. So good. Look at the ceiling as well. Looks yeah, so nice. Plastered all the ceiling. I'm really excited. So it's going to be finished in two days. Yeah. And then we can start putting all our stuff in it. Mm-hmm. I like that this is in here. I didn't know they were doing this. Yeah, yeah, so then it's like much more usable, like flat edges rather than just like wonky walls. I kind of feel like it would be sick as like a little sneaky cinema room or something. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't. No, we can't. We don't need that right now. We just need like... But it would be good as a den. Imagine it as like... Yeah. A little bar from when we've got friends cool. over. Now that it looks like this, it is cool, isn't it? I like this little bit in here as well. This is like such an adult thing to share in a vlog, isn't it? Yeah, people that are younger that are watching Head this are going to be like... Basement, guys. Here's a little... Um... <laughs> what do you spend your money on? New car, jewellery? No. Tanking our outside basement. Yeah, and I'm not going to lie. It wasn't Way cheap. Way more expensive than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Mind your head as well. All the exciting things that you... Uh do as an adult <laughs> but i don't know someone might find that interesting wow nala do you know how impressed i am that you've not just munched that sitting so nicely i don't think she knows case. what it is oh she d of course she'll be able to smell that are you kidding me <laughs> you're such a good girl um guys we have a dog that would have a thousand percent just munched that entire plate so i have no idea why she didn't why didn't you eat this that's a good girl should we go and get your dinner such a good girl this, this was, was cake the... that we gave the, the the guys that were doing the basement today bit of the cake from the other day although i knew it because there's four of them that have been working on it it'd be funny if they're watching this <laughs> and there is one that has no tea no coffee whenever i offer the others always do the others will come back like mcdonald's there's no chance this guy he's like shredded <laughs> one piece left <laughs> and you think i he... bet you i know who it is <laughs> he's like so ripped honestly you need to take him out like a protein, like protein bar <laughs> yeah i should actually do that